Today I'm doing something that is really exciting. I am going to be creating the biggest squishy that I've ever created. And the twist is that I'm going to be mailing it to Mariah Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, what? Um. Let me get the squishies. They're huge. This is bigger than my head. So like that alone is just horrifying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's for you. Okay, let's get started creating this. All right, here we have five very large squishies. For comparison, I took out my squishy Elliot just to show you how much smaller a normal squishy is. I would feel comfortable saying this is about the size of a human infant, which is odd. This squishy is actually very fun to squish. It's very slow rising and soft and just makes you wanna step on it. Like walking on a cloud. Pretty much everything about this squishy is perfect, except his face. But enough about the monkey business. Let's start looking at this banana. We want the monkey to be behind the banana. This is a very large banana squishy, but for some reason, all I can think of is a telephone. Hello. Here's the scoop. The banana is too tall. It needs to be cut around here so that we can actually see the monkey's face behind our three ice cream scoops. In order to achieve this, I began the long and terrible process of cutting this very thick banana in half. After the big cut was made, I realized it was very jagged. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I then began the process of making very tiny cuts into this banana to even things out. I'll spare you, but it was horrendous. As I was sanding this banana, I realized that banana splits have peeled bananas. This banana is clearly still inside his peel. That's a problem. So I had to make it look like this banana was a bald man. Perfect. It's monkey time. <laughs> The monkey is very squishy. We've been over this, and for some reason, I just felt the need to just oh, bam, 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 bam. stop it. You're hurting him. You're hurting him. The monkey just needs a light trimming and sanding before we can begin a very small amputation. What? The goal here is to glue this banana to the monkey, but there's a little gap right there. So I needed to cut the monkey's legs off and just a little bit of his stomach. No big deal. So we'd have some raw flesh to stick to the banana. Great, great. You're doing good, honey. Hang in there. I took out my tacky glue and basically like buttered it onto the monkey. Is this monkey bread? No. I took out my rubber bands and secured everything using those. While that's drying, I took out my three ice cream cones and decided I needed to cut the scoops off the top of them. To do that, I basically just squished the cone really flat like a pancake and then cut the top scoop off. I'll save these scoops for later. I'm really just interested in the cone. So I'm sanding it down and I will be sticking it on top of this monkey's head. To do that, we need to split this monkey's head open. Man, I am just really on it with the puns today. Monkey business, monkey bread, banana split. Here's the scoop. The list goes on and on. Anyway, it took me a while to secure this head with a bunch of rubber bands, but I finally did and let it dry overnight. And then I took all of these off. Back to the three scoops, the scoops that I cut off and then left and put to the side and now saved for now. Make sense? Yes. The first thing I did was butter each of my scoops with a nice healthy amount of tacky glue. I stuck them onto the banana and secured them with some rubber bands. I let that dry overnight as well. That's dry and now I'm taking off the rubber bands and taking out my slick paint. I'm using the slick paint to fill in any of the gaps throughout the squishy to make sure that everything is really secured and stuck together. I am now going to bring your attention to the bottom of this squishy. It's easily the worst part of this entire makeover. When I cut this banana in half, I felt it was very necessary to do so because I wanted to see the face of this monkey. However, I did not fully understand the consequences of cutting a very large squishy in half. 
I did quickly realize that cutting a squishy is not enough to create a smooth surface. You really need to layer a ton of paint to do that. I cannot even tell you how many layers of paint this actually required. I do know I ran out of paint at one point, and in the end, I decided, you know what, this is the bottom of the squishy. No one's gonna see it anyway. It's as smooth as possible. Let's give up. It's time for the white base coat. Between applying the white base coat and mixing colors, I ended up using all of these packets of white paint. At this point, I was over the moon to be starting on the white base coat. I had sanded, cut, glued, and done so many things to all of these large squishies. By the time I finally got it into one piece, it was an amazing feeling, especially painting the bottom of this banana. It's disgusting, and painting a white base coat over it was mwah, delicious. Just looking at how thick this paint is, oh my gosh. I don't know why, I always wanna eat it. After I finished the white base coat on the back, I moved to the front. As you can probably tell, it took a very long time to do this makeover. In total, it took me two months to complete the whole thing. And I think I spent around a week of that time just painting white paint. So by the time I finished the white base coat, it felt like a huge accomplishment because now we are finally ready to paint the banana the same exact yellow color. Well, the color is slightly more pastel and I did debate very highly if I should change it to a different color altogether, but in the end, I decided to stick with yellow. I mixed together some strawberry paint and dipped into that so that I could paint one of the ice cream scoops a pink strawberry color, as well as a part of the scoop on top of his head. For the middle scoop, I decided to make that a vanilla bean kind of color, so it's a little bit of a cream yellow, light cream ivory color. And then for the third scoop, I decided to make that one a chocolate color. This really looks like a chocolate mousse color. It looks really realistic to me for some reason. I look at it and I'm like, yes, that is the color of chocolate ice cream. For the fourth scoop of ice cream, well, there's not actually four scoops of ice cream, but I have decided to consider the monkey's head a fourth scoop of ice cream. I decided to make him a mint chocolate chip scoop. I did paint him a lighter green color at first, and then I made the monkey's like face outer part of it a darker green color. I don't know what you would call that. Now it's time for my absolute favorite part of this makeover. I decided to make it look like each of the ice cream scoops were melting. To do that, I took large cups of paint and kind of scooped the paint in big globs onto the squishy and just guided it as it dripped down. I decided to go this route of making the paint look like it was very chunky and melting because the ice cream scoops didn't really look like they were attached. Well, Correction, they were actually attached. Like if you pulled on the ice cream scoops, they would not come off or anything, but visually they looked like they were just separate squishies, like you had a scoop and a banana, but I wanted it to look more three-dimensional and cohesive. And that is why I added a bunch of melted ice cream. I also just wanted it to have more of a realistic feel to it, even though this is obviously very cartoon-like and not realistic. I wanted the ice cream to look somewhat realistic. After all those colors were done, it was time for the details. I added a bunch of chocolate chips to this monkey's head. First, I started with the rectangle chocolate chips and placed them throughout the head just to get the general placement of things. And then I went back in and added the little tiny chocolate chip dots and mushes and everything to make it look like a realistic-ish mint chocolate chip ice cream scoop. And now it's time for the eyes. I sketched it out with a pencil first because I didn't want to get it wrong. And then I added the white parts. After the white was dry, I took out my black slick paint and added a huge pupil. Oh my gosh, pupil. After the pupils were done, I also added a huge mouth. I wanted the mouth to look like it was wide open and ready to take a big lick of this ice cream. For the monkey's iris or eye color, I decided to make it the same color as the Neapolitan ice cream he is eating, pink, vanilla, and chocolate. 
I used this hot pink color for the monkey's tongue, and I did make the tongue kind of extend onto the ice cream, so it really looks like he's licking that cone. Delicious. I gave our mint chocolate chip monkey some eyebrows, some eyelashes, as well as some highlights, and added my signature to the back side of the banana. And here we have the before and the after for our mint chocolate chip banana split monkey. I have decided to call this monkey Minty because he's a mint chocolate chip ice cream scoop and I feel like it's fitting for him. This is by far the largest squishy that I have ever created in my whole entire channel. Minty is really just so large and I cannot even get over it. Just for reference, here is Minty sitting on my regular shelf next to my regular sized squishies. This project took two months in total, and I was so excited to be able to send it to Mariah and see her open it on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching me paint my biggest squishy ever. If you'd like to see me paint other squishies, I have a playlist linked in one of these two boxes. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Oh my gosh, you're insane for sending this to me. Are you sure?